welcome back to another product review. This week I'm going to be reviewing this. And this is Zestit Pencil Blend. This is a solvent blender, for those that don't know. It works in the same way as uh, any other solvent like uh, Mona Lisa Odalis Thinners or the Gamsol that I have. It works in the same way as those kinds of pencil blenders. And I'm just going to give my first impressions and thoughts on this little beauty. To start off with, I will make no hiding of this, that I really didn't like the thought of blending with a solvent. I really, really hated it, so I purchased originally the Gamsol. I haven't done a review on that, but I'm going to do a comparison. I purchased the Gamsol, and I tried that out, and then I thought, just to test the waters on some other solvent blenders, I'm going to purchase the Zestit as well. So that's what I did. I went ahead and I purchased this little bottle here. They do various sizes, they do twice the size of this and then they do a bigger one as well, but I thought I'm not really going to like it, so I bought the little bottle because it was inexpensive and it didn't matter if I didn't use it all and didn't want to continue using it. So I bought this one. I set about using it, I tested it out on my McCaw piece which I'm currently drawing because I thought the way that these solvent blenders work, if you use them correctly and you can use them really well, you can get it to look like a painting. So I thought it's sometimes really difficult for me to imitate the look of feathers, the smoothness. So I thought the solvent blenders would be perfect for blending feathers and getting that really really soft finished effect. So that's what I have been using my Zestit and my other solvent blender on. At first, it was a little bit weird. I must admit, it was like, this is painting, I'm not using a pencil, this shouldn't be right. But, as soon as I got to grips with using it and how to use it and how to move the colour around to a great effect, I loved it. I'm in love with this little bottle. I am in love with you. You're amazing. And I never ever thought that I would say that about a solvent blender, but this Zestit is an amazing blender. Much better than my Gamsol. And that's because I found with the Zestit, when you are blending and you're painting and moving that colour around to really, really blend those colours together really seamlessly, the Gamsol would pick up the colour and move it around so I'd have little blotches of white where the coloured pencil had just, just moved completely out of that area. With the Zestit Pencil Blend, that was non-existent, near enough non-existent. That's one of the main things that I love about this blender, the fact that you can blend and it's not going to pick up all of that colour, it's not going to leave like little blobs all over the place so then you have to worry about filling those in with the coloured pencil afterwards. So the way that this moves the colour around, this Zestit Pencil Blend is amazing. You really couldn't ask for it to work in any better a way. It works on absolutely all of the pencils that I've tried it on. I've tried the Caran d'Ache Pablo pencils, the Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils, and my Polychromos pencils. I do have a few Prismacolors, but I haven't tried it on that yet. But those pencils that I have used this on, it works wonders with them. Putting all of those three pencils together in one piece and then blending, it works really, really well. It's such a good, versatile solvent blender. When you are layering with this blender, with all solvents, it's really easy to layer. So you lay your coloured pencil down, or as many layers as you want, and then you blend, and then you layer some more coloured pencil over the top, and you don't, it's just like drawing straight onto the paper, like you've got no blender material in between. Because it's a liquid and it just soaks into the paper, it's really, really good like that. But that's the case with all solvent blenders. It's not really different to any other solvent blender in that respect. So the Zestit is a UK brand and it's different to other solvents with the fact that it doesn't have that horrible, horrible smell. You are not, it's meant to be safer to use because you're not inhaling all of those odourless 
perfumes. So it's meant to be safer and it's made in the UK and they are two enormous pluses for me. The only con I can really think of this is if you are living outside of the UK it can be quite difficult for you to actually get a hold of a nice bottle of this. I think if you can get hold of a bottle it's pretty expensive. So here in the UK I think this one cost me about £6 and they go all the way up to about 15 and I think if you are outside of the UK it's a lot more expensive than that. So that's one of the cons is the fact that it's not widely available to other countries. You can pretty much use this zest it pencil blend and blend it with anything. They actually do a sponge which you can blend it with but I haven't purchased that but I might do and I might test it out. But you can blend it with a sponge, you can blend it with a paintbrush which I use, you can blend it with a cotton bud, you can blend it with absolutely everything, anything. You can use those little tortillons, paper stump things, you can blend it with that. It's so versatile with what it actually works with. And I'm pretty sure, again, that's the same across all of the solvents. The way that this blends compared to my Gamsol, as I said before, the Gamsol when I blend with it and I've got like a thick layer of coloured pencil, it moves the colour around really easily and that's one of the reasons why I didn't initially like the solvent blending. With the Zest It, I have eliminated that, it doesn't move the colour around, it keeps it all in one spot, but it also blends my coloured pencils really smoothly, much more smoothly than what I could muster with the Gamsol. So the fact that it doesn't move the colour around and it's a lot smoother gives this pencil blend a big thumbs up. I've tried this blender on two types of paper, the Fabriano Artistico watercolour um, paper, the £140 hot press, and I've also tried it on the Strathmore Bristol Board Vellum. The absorbency of the Zest It on both of those papers is really, really good. It makes the back of the paper go a little bit transparent if you're using a bit too much fluid, but after a little while that disappears and it took the Zest It less time to disappear than it did the Gamsol, so I can only see that as a positive thing to go towards the Zest It. A lot of artists actually use their solvents and especially the Zest It for UK, I follow a few UK artists and they use the Zest It for underpainting on their coloured pencil pieces. So they'll lay down a couple, their base layers of their coloured pencil and then they go over the entire thing with the Zest It blender and then add their layers over the top. And the Zest It is a really good tool for that because of what I said before, it doesn't move the colour around as much as my other solvent and you can get it really, really smooth so it's great for underpainting and I know a lot of people do use solvents for that. This works in the same way that other solvents do with the fact that it makes the colours a lot, lot more vibrant than what you've originally put down on the paper. But I was I was expecting that because that's what my Gamsol did and that's what I've seen other solvents do so I wasn't too worried about the fact that it made everything bright. If I have to say anything, when I was testing it out with black and underneath my, my blacks I usually put purples and blues and pinks all those kinds of colours. When I was blending black areas with those colours in, it really, really made those colours pop out, which is what I really was excited about because I love to be able to show people how many colours that I put underneath all of my black work. So when I put the Zest It over the top and those colours popped out, I was really, really excited. One thing that I really loved is when you have your first layer and then you blend it out and then you add a second layer, it doesn't actually affect the previous layer. So that's really important if you're working in loads of multiple layers. You won't have the Zest It pencil blend affecting any of your other layers once they've been blended out. So that's another plus for it. If you're looking to change your blender to something else, perhaps you need something that's less irritating to your eyes and chest, or perhaps you're looking something for something that 
blends a little more smooth, works really, really well with multiple layers, then I would say that this is your friend. Bearing in mind I've only ever tried the Gamsol Odorless Paint Thinner, compared to that, this is really outstanding. It's miles beyond the Gamsol, so I'm really in love with this product. If you have any suggestions to other thinners or other solvents to use that might you might think that are better than this, please let me know because I'm always open to suggestions. But that's all I have on this little zest it bottle today. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and follow me on all of my social media sites. I absolutely love to hear from you and answer any questions that you have. I will see you guys in the next product review next week. So have a great week and I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you.